Hi guys, it's Jenny. Today is day one of our move from one rental to another rental in this little seaside town that we're currently living in. So for those of you who are new, uh, in October last year we moved back home to Queensland, Australia from Frankfurt, Germany. Before being in Germany, we lived in the UK for eight years. Uh, so that's why my accent's a bit all over the place. Can't help it, it just happens. Anyway, so uh, when we moved back, uh, my husband's been working without holidays for many years um, when we lived in Germany and in London. So he decided to take 12 months off work once we moved back home to Australia. Uh, and whilst we're looking for a property to buy, which will hopefully be our forever home. I don't know, we move around a lot and we can't help it. It just seems to happen. That is our goal, to buy something. However, in the interim, we are renting in this seaside town. The first rental that we moved into uh, was up for sale and the owners have sold it. So we've moved out a month early, it was a six month lease and we've moved out at the five month mark because they've sold their home and the new owners would like to take possession and live in it, basically. So today is day one of moving into our second rental in this area uh, for another six months. So I've just picked up the keys and I've just pulled into, this one's got a lock up garage, so I've just pulled into the garage. Uh, and I'm about to do a walkthrough. Um, so in rentals here, they give you a uh, entrance report telling you all the faults with the property, you know, scuffs and anything that's broken, that kind of thing, um, with photos and descriptions. And you've got three days when you move in to find any other faults that weren't on the paperwork. Uh, and obviously, if you don't find those faults, then you might get charged for those when you move out of the rental at the end of your tenancy. So we like to do a really thorough check of anything and take photos, just so we're all clear on exactly what the conditions are before we move in. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today, and I'm going to be cleaning. And we're going to bring one trailer load of stuff here today, probably. Um, we're just taking a very relaxed attitude to this move. Uh, if you've been with me for a while, you will know that our move from Germany was crazy. It was so stressful, uh, basically because we're moving internationally. We had no family or close friends in Germany. Um, so it was just the five of us clearing out all that stuff. We also had to pack boxes to be shipped to Australia and keep just enough stuff to live with that would fit in our suitcases that we were taking on the plane. We also had to clean and clear out of the house at the same time as we had an international flight the next morning. So it was very stressful <laughs> um, because we had to finish packing, we had to clean, we had to get rid of all of our trash because we couldn't have any trash there when we left um, other than like just the regular trash bin. Um, it was very stressful. That move was probably the most stressful move ever for our family. So this one is a lot more relaxed. Thank goodness. Uh, so I might film a few things. Mostly we're just doing drips and drabs. Uh, this new place is 10 minutes from the old place, so it's just taking a trailer load 10 minutes up the road, um, which is very different to shipping all your stuff on a ship from Europe to Australia. That's a little more complicated. Okay, so I will take you along for a little bit. I don't know, I didn't bring my tripod, so I don't know if I can film me cleaning anything. You can just imagine that I cleaned it, because I'm going to clean it. All right, see you soon. Okay guys, let me show you the house for the next six months um, before we put all our stuff in it and it gets messy. All right, so that's the front door. 
That's the door from the garage. This will no doubt be a space for computers maybe, I don't know. Here's the kitchen. Much nicer oven this time, and an, ins and an actual extractor fan this time, which is nice. Didn't have one of those in the last place. Uh, nice big pantry. From the kitchen, that's what I can see. Hopefully our fridge will fit in there. We'll see. Okay, we've got this area, ceiling fan, nice. Back door. Decking. Pretty excited to have a linen cupboard. Currently our linen has been in my wardrobe. So here we have an extra basin that goes with the toilet in here. And then here's the bathroom. So that's good because people can wash their hands without disturbing me whilst I'm in the bath. Have a nice big shower. And I have a bath again, yay. Okay, first bedroom. which looks out onto the decking at the back. Okay, so that was the bathroom, yep. So, and then that's back of the kitchen and the garage. So we're keeping going down this hallway. To the left, we have the second bedroom. Also with nice big wardrobe. And we have the final bedroom here. So I think this is the biggest bedroom. It looks out on the front. So the wardrobe's not quite so big. So I don't know which bedroom's gonna be whose, but. And then over here, last room is the laundry. And a door outside to where the washing line was. So 
This particular rental, sorry it's echoey because there's nothing in the house. Uh, this particular rental is a bit different to our previous rental. So our previous rental, we had a half acre, so there's lots of mowing, but also there was a lot of privacy. So we were no, I mean, we were near our neighbors, but we could play loud music and nobody would hear it, for example. Not that we do play loud music, but you know what I mean. Like we didn't have to worry about the kids being noisy at midnight, for example. Um, so this, as you could probably see, the houses are right next to this house. So, I mean, it's nothing compared to London and where we lived in Frankfurt or outside of Frankfurt um, because there we shared walls and like our floor was above the apartment below us in Germany. So it's not going to be like that, but we are closer to other people, um, but it means less yard maintenance. But mostly we've moved here because this is closer to the water. So you've seen me walk uh, on the beach here. Um, and we spend quite a bit of time by the water. But before now we were driving 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, but up to 10 minutes to get to it. And I would drive there every single day to just sit by the water, film videos or just go for a walk or both. Um, so yeah, we've moved closer to the water for this next six months. Um, so it's walking distance from here, very easy walking distance. Technically it was walking distance from the other place, but it was a 10 kilometer walk each way. So my husband and one of my sons has done that walk in one direction, but yeah, I'm sure in winter it'll be doable, but in the summer heat, walking that far is very draining. And it's not like there's anywhere to stop part way to get a drink or something. It's just like, there's nothing there for a lot of that walk. Um, so yeah, we're doing something a bit different this time. Um, it will be nice to have like, you know, like as you can see, these walls are regular walls. So I could set up in front of the wall and film a YouTube video or, you know, sit out on the porch and have a nice backdrop. So I think it will be good for like filming some videos. So my husband and I would like to do some INTP versus INFP videos together. And I think here it's going to be a lot easier. Um, the room I was filming in was the only room that got good lighting, um, was my son's bedroom, two of them shared it. Uh, and also like that house that we were in before this one, well we still are in it because we're in the process of moving, it um, was a like owner build and it didn't have like plaster on the walls, it just had, what do they call it, are they Besser block? I think it's a Besser block house. Um, which is fine, like lots of houses are built with that, but normally you would like put plastering in. Um, but it was fine, it met our needs, we're not particularly fussy, but just for filming videos, it's nice to have like an actual wall and not concrete blocks. So yeah, I'm, I think it's going to be good. The kitchen is a lot bigger, so maybe I can start filming some cooking again. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. All right, so I am going to do a quick walk around to check for any faults, like I mentioned, and then I'm gonna do some cleaning. So they've left it really clean, so it'll just be important things like the kitchen cupboards and benches that I'll clean, and the bathroom I will clean, and the floors, um, just to, like they've done a really good job cleaning, but you know what it's like. You just want to make sure it's up to your standard because other people, like your own gunk is okay, but other people's gunk is not okay. All right, so I'll check in with you maybe when we're moving some stuff in.
second trailer load. Second trailer load. One more after this and then everything's going to the ship. It's not. What stuff are you suggesting we get rid of? I'm going to get rid of audio equipment. I'm going to get rid of a lot of fishing stuff. I'm going to get rid of... Wait, this doesn't make any sense. If those things are in the trailer, but you're going to throw out the things that aren't in the trailer. Oh no, I'm, I'm not going to get rid of it today. Hi guys, so I began filming our move from one rental to another rental with the plan to like show you little snippets here and there it didn't happen um i showed you the new place whilst i was cleaning it when i just gotten the keys um and from there i raced back to the old place to continue packing up stuff so whenever I'd drive to the new place, I'd pack as much in the car as I could. Um, we have a trailer, so we moved ourselves with lots of trailer loads. Um, but yeah, it was just too crazy to get the camera back out. So we are moved. We handed in the keys to the old rental yesterday. Um, yeah. So the house still looks like a bomb hit it. I will film that when I get back home. Um, so I guess the difference is I'm in the usual place or one of the usual places that I film. But now this is like just a little drive around the corner before it was like a 15 minute drive, which is quick. But obviously the fuel cost of doing that is more than just like taking the car around the corner. I could walk here, but I feel safer in the car filming because even though people look at me filming in the car, they can't really talk to me about what I'm doing. So it feels a bit more private than standing out. Also, it's raining right now, so I wouldn't be able to film out there anyway. So yeah, I will show you the mess that is the current house that we're trying to wrangle into something livable. Um, right, so we got the keys on a Tuesday and Wednesday night we stayed in the new place whilst we were still doing stuff to the old place. Thursday we moved the final load of things um, and just left. Um, a friend of ours took some furniture that we could have sold but we just didn't have time to sell. I'd, I'd listed it on Gumtree a few things but we didn't have any takers. We're kind of a bit remote out here. So on Thursday, we moved the last of our stuff. We had a trailer load of like trash to take to the local dump or tip refuse center. I don't know. I don't know what you call it in all of the other countries. We call it the tip because you tip stuff in there. Some people call it the dump because you dump stuff in there. Um, it was mostly cardboard boxes, which they take for free. Um, it was nice, we had a few other things that needed to be thrown out, um, but yeah, so that was done on Friday morning. Thursday night, after we'd moved all day, um, I then took the car back. So I can't drive with the trailer, my husband has to do all the driving with the trailer. Um, yeah, my like 3D spatial is really bad. Um, his is slightly better so I'm just I can barely work out how to reverse and know where my car is on the road I just wouldn't be able to do it with a trailer as well um, anyway so I took the car without the trailer back on Thursday evening with my son James we started the cleaning and I just wanted to get all the cleaning done because we had to turn the keys in on Friday by five o'clock um, the rental we were in was for sale and the owners had a buyer but it was conditional on the tenants moving out a month early so that they can move into it because they want to live in it um, 
and we were offered moving costs if we vacate the property by 5 p.m. on Friday. Um, and yeah, so we did. So basically, if we handed the keys in late, we wouldn't have gotten our moving costs covered because that was the agreement. Um, plus, you know, you never want to like drag these things out anyway. You want to get it done on the day that you're meant to move out. So um, on Thursday night, I went back and started cleaning at 8 p.m. because we'd finished the move. Like we'd finished moving everything out on Thursday. So I drove back with one of my sons on Thursday night and we just started cleaning. Um, I don't know how other people do it. I've done so many moves now, but I still find them so stressful. My husband doesn't find them stressful. Like he finds them tiring, but he wouldn't describe it as stress. I find moving really stressful. Um, I don't know if it's an INFP thing. I mean, I love moving. Like I, I love being in new places, but I find it really disruptive not having a safe space. I guess, um, but you know, I do have a safe space because you're moving from one home to another, but I just find it really disruptive. All right, I'm back. You probably didn't know I was gone, but my memory card was full and it is now a day later. So yeah, I just cleaned the house top to bottom. Uh, as I have discussed about this previous rental, it was kind of like not sealed, so we were infested with bugs, but not infested in the way where like, you know, it's because you're dirty or, um, or it's because of unhygienic conditions. It was more like the way a campsite would be infested with bugs because the ants nests that were outside would come up out of the floor. Like there were ants nests in the house coming up out of the floor. Um, and there were just like holes that were from outside to inside, like they could just crawl through. The bugs had free reign going in and out. Same with geckos, which are good. The little geckos are great for keeping down the bug and spider numbers. So they are always welcome guests. Um... Oh, she got him. Oh, she got the gecko. Oh. Has she got him, got him? Well, she grabbed him with her claws. She's behind there with him. Bella. Come on, baby. <laughs> okay, she lost him. <laughs> she lost him. <laughs> oh, Bella. You've been trying so hard for weeks. So the house is very difficult to get clean. There are always, like no matter how many times I clear away the spider webs, vacuum up where the ant's nest has come up and there's like dirt coming up out of the floorboards. It's just always filthy. Um, so I did the best I could. Um, and it ended up taking us eight hours. And I have to say, as sad and nostalgic as it makes me that my baby is almost 13, moves when they were younger were so much harder. Like he was actually able to help me with the cleaning. He did most of the kitchen. I just like double checked it and did a few extra bits and I cleaned the oven. Um, but he like cleaned out all the kitchen cupboards he cleaned a lot of the windows for me. He cleaned the um, the wardrobe mirrors. So they were glass sliding doors. Not glass. They were mirrored sliding doors for all of the wardrobes. So they needed a, a wipe down. Um, so he did that for me. So on Friday, 
we were there for less than an hour just checking everything over, <clears throat> packing up the cleaning supplies so that the place was empty, and turning in the keys. Um, yeah. So that was the story of our move. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.